Hi Tess, thank you so much for uh, coming down today and why do you think it's important to turn up at a protest like this? Yeah, uh, give the voice to the voiceless always. Um, these babies are vulnerable and have, have no opportunity, then, um, obviously, and it's just really disappointing that people know about this practice and aren't are really upset. I'm, I'm really appalled by the practice. As soon as you find out it is happening, you, you just kind of it makes you angry. Like, how can you not speak up for these little babies? Firstly, we just want to say thank you so much for bringing this up in Parliament. Um, but what moved you in originally to, to, to really advocate on this issue? Well, look, I, I've, I've uh, been a politician. I've been a, a, a person who's always wanted to defend life. Uh, mm. I've got to give credit to George Christensen, who, who put in place the original bill. Uh, and so really, he exposed this issue or first brought it to my attention. And, and look, the, the basic situation is anybody who you tell about this, that babies are born alive and left to die in this nation, uh, immediately recoils in disgust and wants to see that change. Mm. The issue we've got, the challenge we've got, is just making more Australians aware of that. Yeah, that's uh, right. Most people don't know that this happens uh, in what is otherwise meant to be a civilised society. So uh, thank you for all the support you've given mm. through ACL and other groups. Uh, to expose this, but we've just got to keep pushing, keep telling the Australian people that story. Uh, Senator Alex, thank you so much for coming down and just seeing our display, but what kind of impression does this leave you with, having seen this? Well, I guess, Michelle, it's always like referring back to it again, and it's great to see so many people down here supporting the, the bill, and a lot of great people who came to the inquiry as well, which was, was so important. It just goes to show the importance yeah. of being involved and you know, being in the space so that you can have your voice heard. So it's just terrific and moving, I have to say. It's very, very moving. Yeah, so. yeah Senator Babette, we just thank you so much for all that you're doing in the House to uh, really push the pro-life mm. cause and coming down here and seeing all this, what kind of impact has it had on you? It really brings it home. It brings it home how, how many babies have lost their lives um, in, a, in our nation and as people at home can see from the footage here it's a l hundreds and hundreds of babies every year needlessly lose their lives and if I can even have a small impact on making sure that the horrific uh, practice of, of uh, abortion is uh, pushed back upon socially then I'd have done my job because uh, I can't stand by as a Christian, as a person, as a human being and do absolutely nothing while things like this continue. It's been so amazing here being with our ACL volunteers, meeting members of parliament having the media come out and just being part of this visual protest regarding the babies that have survived abortions and have been tragically left to die. We do believe this is going to have a huge impact on the consciousness of members of parliament and on the general Australian public that this shouldn't happen, that babies should be given medical care after surviving an abortion. The law has to change and we pray and believe that eventually it will.